Hey guys, Alien Sami here with a chin. That's about all you're gonna get. <laughs> and today we finally have Hatsune Miku Deep Sea Girl version. I wish they would just call it edition, not version. Oh, I've wanted this for so long. This is, I think, a second or third release of this figure. She was $120 Canadian approximately and then $30 for border fees. Yay, border fees. And she's here. We got her. She's got a beautiful box. Uh, her box is huge. All sorts. Very nice Japanese stuff on the sides. So let's get her open and take a look. Oh, it smells very nice. Oh, she's actually quite big. I was expecting um, the figure to be like her head here and her legs here, but her head is here and her legs are here. So this figure is beautiful. It comes with a coral wreath, wreath, reef, coral reef um, with it. So it's very nice. Um, I would definitely recommend if you can setting up some type of water themed or under the ocean themed um, display for her. I only have glass shelves, which I've yet to show you guys. Holy God. Ah! So here she is still inside the plastic. We have her hair on the side, which must be attached. The base, which looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, it looks kind of like water. I'm not sure if it's transparent at all. We have a few. Um, if you, know, you can't even see my hands back there. On the bottom, if you can see that kind of light green piece that's right here, that's a piece of coral that she'll be sitting on. Don't sit on the coral reef, people. It's endangered, if that's what you call the coral reef. And we got two nice coral pieces here as well. So, um, is any of this taped? Yes, it is. Ugh. All right, so once you have her all unpacked, this will be all you get. The two coral pieces, the base, her two pieces of hair, and Hatsune Miku herself. Absolutely wonderful. The base is already kind of pre-shaded to fit her hair, or to match her hair uh, casting onto the bottom with lighting, as well as the coral bits, etc. Very, very beautiful. Um, I'm confused as... Oh, I see. So, I was kind of confused. There's these pegs right here. And I was like, how is that supposed to go onto the base? So what some of the figures, figures, the figurine makers, manufacturers uh, do and something I've been seeing happen a lot, or more recently I should say, is they're putting little plastic nibs into any holes that they think might be difficult to put onto a base, onto the figure, so it prevents you from forcing, uh, forcing or having to push down because the holes have shrank due to weather, due to heat, due to the cold. So it's very good that they're starting to do this with some things, especially the more ex expensive figures, because like the last thing you want to do is try and force this piece of coral onto the base, and then I doubt many of these would snap. They're actually quite squishy, but the last thing you want to do is try and force it on. Like, why aren't these holes fitting? And it break, because that would really suck. It really would for a hundred dollar figure. Or almost $200 figure, I guess, especially being Canadian, uh, that would suck really bad. So each of these pieces are lovely, very detailed, very textured, purple into a pink into a white, very nice. Both pieces of coral pretty much the same. This one's a little bigger than that one. This piece of coral has the same little nibs, which you're just going to take out. Little nibs. Um, I'm probably not going to keep these. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, so we're going to take that out of the way. Next we have is the lovely base. Look at that. It's beautiful. If I was extremely good with those, um, land kits, you can kind of buy them for school projects. But there's some people that go all out, like people who do miniature planes and all that good stuff. And they make the dirt and the grass and the runways and it looks realistic. It almost looks like photos when you take a picture up close. If I could do that, I would definitely add some sand and some other um, underwater grass or greenery. But I'm not good at that, so we are not going to edit this base at all. But these are very nice on their own. And then the two pieces of coral, uh, I believe, are going to sit right here. 
It goes like this. Boom. Extremely easy. And... Ugh. Boom! You didn't get to see that one, but you could definitely hear it. So, these are the two pieces of coral attached. Very nice. I love it. I love it. And of course, what is this beautiful stand without our beautiful Hatsune Miku? So, we're going to put her hair on, put her on the stand, and then have a nice close-up look. And I'll give you my full feedback on the figure. So, here she is. Hatsune Miku Deep Sea Girl version 2017 re-release. And I'm only getting her now in 2018. Why? Because I paid no money for shipping because I was being a cheap turd. But she did get here safely, sound, and fully assembled now. So, here she is. Beautiful. I love her hair. It's so detailed. Actually, it's not that detailed. Um, Hatsune Miku figures vary in detail and complexity. This one is not detailed, but it is complex. Her hair sculpt is extremely complex. It has many different shapes. The hair is going in many different directions. There is a minimal shading on Miku herself. Her dress is completely black. There is no shading on it. And the coral is probably the most detailed part of this figure, but she is still quite a complex figure. Her dress is extremely riffled, ruffled, riffled. What's a riffle? <laughs> a ruffle. This is my riffle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. But her dress is beautiful. It's big. It's gorgeous. It goes all the way from her hip across up underneath her legs and into her hair again absolutely gorgeous she has very nicely sculpted legs um i'm not a huge foot person feet kind of gross me out so no i'm a sock guy all the way please wear socks if you're ever near me i don't like feet but these cute little anime looking feet yes i know hatsune miku is not anime but <laughs> these cute little anime feet are definitely more attractive than the regular folks feet that is for sure but it is lacking in every detail that a foot so horribly has and her legs are gorgeous um her anatomy is a little different from some of the Hatsune Mikus I've seen but Hatsune Miku just like the owner says is a ever-changing ever evolving character which can look how we desire her which is my favorite part about Hatsune Miku the creator is very open about different varieties of her so that's a little bit of a turn around look around now let's get real close and you guys can be the true judge of if you like the details if you like the complexity and if you think it's worth $120 Canadian, which is approximately maybe $100 USD, um, she's not too... She wasn't too expensive when I ordered her. I don't know what she's going for now aftermarket because this was a re-release. And of course, people will skyrocket those prices after the pre-order has been released and they try to resell her. Um, I think I saw her on eBay for $200 USD, and I'm like, ouch, I'm glad I pre-ordered her. So, let's zoom in now. So, here is a up-close of her face with her hands all tucked all cute with her into her chin. Her hands are very nicely sculpted despite how small they are. She is... A little bit, maybe three times bigger than a Figma when it comes to size comparison. It's very nice. She has a very soft face, minimal details, but just enough to get across that we have a nice little smiling face with her big blue eyes with a little bit of green uh, under the eyes, as you can see right there. Because Hatsune Miku is a very blue, greenish, uh, I think turquoise is a color to describe it. I'm a guy. I describe things with blue, green, and red. That's about it. But the colors are very nice. And I'm also sorry. <laughs> I'm also sorry for my voice. I am getting attacked by a flu slash cold slash whatever is attacking my immune system. And it's not very fun. Anywho... She's gorgeous. How many times can I say it? 
If you can afford her, buy her. If you see her for less than $80 and it's coming from China, then it's probably a bootleg and you don't buy that one. Don't buy the bootlegs. I used to be one of those people who said, I don't care, I'll buy the bootleg. I'm not paying that much money for a figure. But then I watched a video, oh gosh, I can't even remember what it was. I think it was the people who are best known for the marble figures, like really top tier stuff. And they went through the process of showing how a figure is made from start to finish the sculpting process. And they just talked about how much work goes in these things, how much the sculptors and the artists love putting their time and effort into it and making these figures just for us. And after I saw that video, it really hit me, especially as an artist who sells art and custom artwork for people, it really hit me that it is important to buy the real thing. I know these figures are expensive. They are beautiful. Even when the bootlegs come out, some bootlegs are okay looking. But they are expensive, they are beautiful, and they're this way because someone took the time and effort a group of people took days, hours, weeks, months to build and complete these figures for us so we can have them in our collection. And we need to support that. I know some of these figures aren't limited edition. I know some of them are pumped out of a factory. But someone had to start it. Someone had to make it. And of course... Someone's got to love it. And we have to show the figures, and we have to show the artists who do these figures, and even concept art for them, the respect they deserve by buying the real figures. Buy the real figures. Even if you have to save up. Um, a lot of people who see my collection go, Wow, that's so much. Like, I wish I had a collection like that. Like, how do you do it? And it's saving up money, being dedicated to spending money on these things um i won't lie there's been many times i put my figure collection above food <laughs> honestly i have sounds stupid but uh, that's just the way it is there's a lot of things people will put above other things and my collection for the longest time was above almost everything in my life except for my job because my job is number one but don't put yourself in the dead don't put yourself in any bad situations for your figures save up buy them and in a few years time like my collection that I'll show you one day in a tour video was not overnight it wasn't over two years it wasn't over three years this is years of collecting and dedicating my time to art and other ways of getting money to get these figures one day you'll be able to buy figures just like this one willy-nilly you'll have a job you'll be able to choose what you want in your life and you'll be able to collect these beautiful figures so we're at the end of the video. I'm done rambling. It's been a while since I did an unboxing. I just want to talk to you guys and talk, 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 talk. But what do you think? Deep Sea version Miku, yes, no. Do you like her? I love her. She's beautiful. If you can get her, please do. Um, I don't doubt that they might do another re-release for her because I believe she completely sold out on the other uh, re-release so that's good that shows the people that people still want to buy her despite um having already been re, re or bleh, having been released once because sometimes they'll release a product it gets bought a few times and no one really cares about it after that but obviously there was enough want for this one that they said hey let's re-release her so re-release they did and hopefully you guys can get in on some of the re-release pricings as always, I buy my stuff from AmiAmi.com. It's in the description box below where I buy it in the original listing I purchased her from. The prices might be different because the prices on AmiAmi do change as the stock goes down and demand goes up. That's capitalism for you. So, don't forget as well, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers and I have a 1,000 subscriber Q&A video. Click it right here go leave a question it could be about anything that involves me and my collection and once we hit 1000 subscribers i will read every question and i will answer every question as long as the question is not said twice 
So, we'll see you in the next unboxing video, hopefully soon. I'm so sorry, guys. Hopefully soon. And as always, peace out. Bye-bye!